Hey, 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 what's up, big dog? Yo, what's going on? What's going on, man? We got some issues in the crypto world right now. Issues in the crypto world. So, what's going on? Um, I'm gonna put my boy on blast. One of my buddies I was talking to. Um, he's a big Shopify dude. This dude is like making millions in Shopify. I'm pretty sure. Um, but uh, here we go. So. He hit me up this morning. I'm not gonna show you his name because I want to put my boy on blast. That, but he hit me up this morning with some feedback on some stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Ponzi schemes. It's going on with some of these companies, right? I almost bought in the USI. Quick search, real quick, and look at the first thing that popped up an hour ago. Mac Mills shouts out Mac. Mac is always dropping some uh, big, big, big deals right here. As you can see, my boy Jabari, Gregory Brazil, they already on it. They already on it. I don't, they already on it. They already on it. So I'm gonna see what else is going on with this. But I just wanted to show you what this whole deal was. This going on, man. Um, damn, where'd the link go? There you go. So apparently, USI is a is a fraud, man. Apparently, it's a Ponzi scheme. So I don't know exactly. At, at this point, um, they're saying that uh, it's mainly they're just violating in the state of Texas, right? So um, let's see who all has seen this so far. Uh, 18 and others. I need to see. Okay, so not too many people are aware of this as yet, but it's interesting to see like what's going on with this. So, um, yeah, USI Tech, man. I literally just about like, like bought into this thing. You know what I'm saying? I was actually checking it out, doing some research, and I don't know. Something just told me to shift my focus back to something that I know is steady. So, um, I'm gonna include the link to this down below so you can read this for yourself. But I really wanted to just point out. Um, one main thing here that really caught my eye, right? And that's in the order. It says, conclusion of law number four. Respondent USI Tech is engaging in fraud in connection with the offer for sale of securities. Okay, simply because they're not registered. They're violating the Section 7 of the Texas Securities Act by offering securities for sale in Texas at a time when securities are not registered with the Securities Commissioner. So, they they're pretty much flying below the radar. They they've uh, built over seven hundred thousand uh, people in this thing so far, something like that. And um, a lot of people are invested in it. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful when you're out here looking at some of these companies, man. These companies can really um, hold up, USI Tech. Right? These companies can really. I got an account and everything, so you can see these companies can really be uh, a, sh a shady deal at the end of the day. So. Um, because when you think about it with this crypto world, man, think about it, right? See, see I've got like nothing in here right now because I literally was um, thinking about getting into this and seeing all everybody's getting these payouts and everything that's going on. It's like, whoa, it's pretty dope. But then you don't really know what, you know, what's really going on. Because the thing is, they this is a service where you're putting money in and you're not really getting nothing out for a while. I mean, they're paying, they're paying, uh, uh, daily, uh, daily interest payments or returns, but they're 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 encouraging you to reinvest it. You know what I'm saying? So if you think about classic Ponzi schemes, if you check out shows like American Greed, um, you really see that this has all the workings. Everything in crypto, honestly, have it, has all the workings of a Ponzi scheme. You know what I'm saying? So they're pulling new monies in and using. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. They're they're pulling money in from investors not giving them anything really in return, but the, they're using money from the new investor that's coming in to pay the old investor. So basically, they're paying commissions out when you refer people back to this and they're paying you a Bitcoin. So what happens is, with that is, um, essentially, if I join right now, all right, and I pay my money, they take a portion of that and they pay to somebody else's person that they brought on. You see what I'm saying? Or so I bring somebody else on. They pay what I paid to them to that new person, which is no different than a Ponzi scheme. You know, I'm not getting a product. I got a website with some cool numbers and gizmo. I, can, I mean, I can go build design this. You know, so I can go make all this look pretty in ten in ten minutes. You know what I'm saying? So, be careful is all I'm saying. Be careful with when you're investing in cryptos because it could be a Ponzi scheme. Shit, I might be part. I might be getting duped right now from because I'm invested in, in some different companies. So. Um, that's why they tell you only invest what you can afford to lose because we, we don't control what's going on at the top of these companies and who's running these things. You know what I'm saying? We don't control that. We only control our investment in our account. So one of the biggest problems right now with, Bit with Bitcoin is 
it's a pain in the butt because all of the I've been moving all my crypto out of my wallet because Coinbase is on the fire. And I'm gonna shoot a video on that too, in the, here in the, shortly. And um, a lot of uh, a lot of heat is a lot of heat is happening. You know, what I'm saying a lot of people are getting really messed up with this right now simply because um, they don't understand what's going on. And this might hit zero. They might bounce back. Who knows what's really gonna happen? With it, you know, what I'm saying nobody really knows. So you, you really have to. Do your, your, your due diligence on this. Just look at Bitcoin. 2013, it's low, low, it's in 400, 200, it dropped down. See, it was at, it went to an all time high, 791 in October 2013, in uh, November 2013. That's like what, five years ago, right? And now look, right? And now look, price dropped down, price is playing really low. 2016, it started to gain some momentum. See that? Last year, it started to gain some, some push. And now this year it just literally like took off. March a thousand, April fourteen hundred, right? February, I mean June twenty four, July August. Look at I got involved in Bitcoin right around when it dipped down. Right around let me see it was right around here when I got in with Bitcoin. So I got in at four thousand, and Bitcoin literally went to the moon. It just took off and shot up to nineteen thousand. Right, it topped off at 19206 as you can see right there. So it topped off. Right? 17. Let's go one week. It topped off at 19. Where the crown at? The crown at 19804 on the 17th, 7 a.m. So is it gonna do that again? We don't really know. It went all the way down to 16. It was went out to 15 at times. So you just gotta really keep your eye on the news and just stay abreast of what's going on so that you don't get duped as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I did or I didn't, but I'm glad I'm catching this. So you really got to do a lot of homework, do a lot of research on the CEO, see who some of these guys are, what they're doing, what they're into, who they're messing with, and so on. So I hope this helps, man, for you to make a better decision. If it does, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, like my channel, share it, get the message out there about USI Tech. Um, there's a lot going on right now, and I hope you don't have too much money or all your money in there because then you have some problems. So see you in my next video, man. Peace.